about 10 years ago, I started my photography journey with this camera. The Canon X7 Kiss, also known as Rebel SL1 in the US and 100D in Europe. I bought this camera because my main criteria at the time were to have a proper viewfinder, the possibility to change lenses in a compact and lightweight body. Indeed, the Canon X7 Kiss was the lightest and smallest APS-C camera in the world at the time of its release. And although it has many limitations, especially compared to modern cameras, this is with this little guy that I paved my way into street photography. Its small size and lightweight are ideal to bring it everywhere and to shoot for a long period of time. During the near decade of its use, I beat the hell out of it, dropping and bumping it quite a few times, scratching its bottom on many surfaces, This little guy has seen it all, but as I say, it has many limitations. The autofocus is quite slow, the image quality is not the sharpest, it doesn't shoot 4K, and the low light performance handheld is almost non-existing. So after 10 years of faithful companioning, it was time to put it down and replace it with a more modern camera. Yes, I bought the Canon R8. This time around, while keeping my need for a lightweight and compact body, I wanted to upgrade to a full-frame camera. So with its 461 gram and small dimensions, the R8 was the ideal choice. It still has the viewfinder that I need, a flipping screen that was lacking on my previous camera, of course it shoots 4K, has much better image quality, and most of all, it's capable of taking picture even in low light condition. So here are a few examples of night photography I can get with it. As you can see, the image is very clean with very little noise noticeable. And all those shots were taken handheld. The R8 is less than 2 cm wider than the X7 Kiss and it's even shorter while having a bigger screen and a bigger viewfinder. It's also slimmer in terms of depth. I paired it with the 24 to 105 zoom lens f4 to f7.1. And I bought the EF to RF adapter to use my Nifty 50 f1.8. The size, weight and balance of the camera even with the two lenses I own, are still comfortable for a long period of use. And of course, the autofocus is way faster and knows what to focus on. Overall, the camera is a joy to use for the photo side. I really don't like to carry a tripod around and I want to have the most minimal setup possible. Unfortunately, this camera has no image stabilization which makes handheld video shooting a challenge. I've been shooting with this camera for a week since I bought it and I tried the different settings of video shooting without the crop which gives very shaky footage. And with the maximum crop which reduces the shakiness but is still not ideal in my eyes. Also, I keep making mistakes with the video side since I'm not used to shoot with a camera. So far, I was using my phone, which I use right now. So I mess around with the right shutter speed, the right frame rate and all that stuff. But with every piece of new gear, there is a learning curve that we cannot avoid. But this is an interesting challenge. Here are more photos and videos I took with the camera.
As a conclusion, I'm very happy with the Canon R8. It is night and day with the Canon X7 Kiss, obviously. I'm still gonna keep this little guy for toy photography, which is another of my photography hobby. But definitely, this guy will be my new camera for streets, travel, night photography, and everything in between. If you want to see more street photography video, don't forget to subscribe. Until then, enjoy the ride and spread the love. Thank you.